Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guy video on finding critical regions with the binomial distribution on a Casio FX CG50. We're going to be using the distribution app and in this video we're only going to be focusing on one tailed test, one with the lower tail and one with the upper tail. An example of a two tailed test will be explored in another video. So the first question here, a test statistic has distribution binomial with an N of 30 and a probability P. Now we're given that H0 P equals 0 0.7 and H1 P is less than 0 0.7. You can see that we've set up for a one tailed test there. Find the critical region for the test using a 5% significance level and then write down the actual significance level. So we've got the model for the distribution here. X is distributed binomially. We've got an N of 30, and then we assume the probability from H0 is correct. So we'll use a probability of 0.7. From the menu, navigate to the distribution app, and then select binomial. Now I have the default settings here. You may have some stored from any previous calculations that you've done. Now we want to focus on the lower tail, which I have set up by default. If you have something other than the lower tail, if you press F1 at this stage, then we are set up ready for a lower tailed test. Now scrolling down X, I'm just going to leave as zero or default. We're actually going to alter that once we get the distribution displayed. So we'll leave that for now. The number of trials was 30 and the P we're going to assume is 0 0.7. And then execute to confirm. So at the moment, we just have the default value of X is less than or equal to zero, which obviously has given us a very low probability indeed, but it's actually the probability that we are going to change to reflect the significance level. Now we're given a significance level of 5%. So we're going to switch to that and alter that to 0 0.05, the decimal equivalent of 5% and press execute. Now you can see that X has changed to less than or equal to 17, and that has been displayed on the distribution there. Now, if you have a look at the probability, that's given a 0 0.0844. Now that is greater than our significance level of 0 0.05. Now the calculator essentially goes to the first value or the closest value that is within the acceptable range. And you can see that the probability given there is too large. We were looking for less than or equal to 0 0.05. So because we've got a lower tail test here, what we need to do is to lower that X value by one. Remember the calculator gives you essentially the closest value that is accepted. What we want to do is to find out what value would cause us to reject the null hypothesis. And for that, as we've got a lower tail test, we're going to input one less than 17, so 16, and enter. And you can see here that that has altered the probability to 0 0.04. So we can answer the two parts of the question now. Find the critical region. Well, it is going to be where X is less than or equal to 16, and the actual significance level is the probability that is given here, 0 0.04. Incidentally, if you do want a greater number of significant figures on your probability, you can highlight that and press option and then F1 for edit, but it was very, very close to 0 0.04 for this particular example. The second question now, and this is going to be an upper tail test, we have a test statistic with distribution binomial, an N of 25 and a P of P. We're given that H0 is P equals 0 0.25, and the H1 is P is greater than 0 0.25. We've got to find the critical region for the test using a 10% significance level this time, and then once again, write down the actual significance level. So very, very similar to the first question, but this time we've got probability greater than 0 0.25. It's a one tail test, but we're dealing with the upper tail. Now I am going to exit out of the distribution display, now pressing exit, and I'm going to change the tail for our test here to the upper tail F3. X I'm just going to leave as, well that was 16 from our previous question. We're going to alter that within the distribution display, but we do need to change the number of trials. So in this example it's 25, and the P 
we're going to assume is correct. The model says that P is 0.25. We assume it's the same as the null hypothesis. So that's 0.25 and then execute again to confirm. You can see by default, it doesn't really display as anything, but we are going to change the probability to reflect our significance level. So the significance level that we want is 0.1. Now the orientation of the inequality will mean we can put in the significance level directly. We don't need to put in 0.9. We can put in 0.1. It's focused on greater than or equal to values. Press execute. And once again, what's happened is we've got X of greater than or equal to nine. The calculator has focused on the closest value that is within the acceptable region. You can see that the probability is given a 0.1494. That is far too large. That is not less than or equal to 0.1 or 10%. So what we need to do as we're in the upper tail is we need to go one greater than the X value given. So we just need to alter that to 10 and press execute. And you can see here the probability for being greater than or equal to 10 is 0.0713. That is less than 0.1, our 10% significance level. 10 is essentially the lowest value that would cause us to reject H0 in favor of H1. So 10 or anything greater than 10 will mean that we'd have to reject the null hypothesis in favor of H1. So just to complete the question there, find the critical region Well, X is greater than or equal to 10. And to give the actual significance level, it's 0.0713, or you could give that a 7.13% as a percentage. There we go, how you can find the critical region using the distribution app for a binomial distribution on a Casio FX CG50. Once again, we've only focused on one tail test in this video, there'll be a subsequent video which will have a look at a two-tailed test and how that needs to be conducted slightly differently. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos, but that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time on The Calculator Guide.